friends today we are going to discuss antigen antibody interactions antigen antibody interactions are studying under the following heads first definition introduction general features stages and examples antigen antibody interactions definition the interaction between antigen and antibodies are called it as antigen antibody reaction antigen antibody reaction or antigen antibody interaction is a specific chemical interaction between antibodies produced by b cell of wbc and antigens during the immune reaction introduction the antigen and antibodies combine by a process called it as precipitation or agglutination it is the fundamental reaction in the body by which the body is protected from the complex foreign molecules such as pathogens and their chemical toxins in the blood the antigens are specifically and with high affinity bound by antibodies to form an antigen antibody complex the immune complex is then transported to cellular systems where it can be destroyed or deactivated the first description of antigen antibody reaction was given by richard j goldberg at the university of wisconsin in 1952 and therefore it come to be known as the goldberg's theory there are several types of the antibodies and the antigens and each antibody is capable of binding only to a specific antigen the specificity of the binding is due to the specific chemical constitution of each antibody the antigenic determinant or epitope is recognized by the paratopes of antibody situated at the variable regions of polypeptide chain the variable region in turn has hyper variable regions which are unique amino acid sequences in their antibody antigens are bound to antibodies through a weak and non covalent interactions such as electrostatic interactions hydrogen bonds van der waal force and hydrophobic interactions the principles of specificity and cross reactivity of the antigen antibody interactions are very useful in the clinical laboratory for the diagnostic purposes one basic application is determination of abo blood group it is also used as a molecular technique for infection with different pathogens such as hiv microbes and helmin parasites the antigen antibody reactions are highly specific and an antigen react only with the antibodies produced by self or with closely related antigens since these reactions are essentially specific they have been used in the many diagnostic tests for the detection of either antigen or the antibodies in vitro the antigen and antibody reaction also form the basic immunity against the microbial diseases in vivo in the host it may cause tissue injury in the hypersensitivity reactions and in autoimmune diseases now we are going to study the general features of antigen and antibody reactions the general features are physico chemical properties affinity avidity specificity and cross reactivity general features of antigen and antibody reaction antigen and antibody bind to covalent bonds in a manner similar to that in which proteins bind to their cellular receptors or enzymes bind to their substrates but antigen antibody reactions differ from the latter as there is no irreversible chemical alteration 
in either of the participants that is antigen or the antibody. The antigen and antibody binding is reversible and can be prevented or dissociated by high ionic strength or extreme pH. The following are the some of the general features of interaction. Physicochemical properties. Electrostatic bonds, hydrogen bonding, van der Waal bonds and hydrophobic interactions are the intermolecular forces involved in antigen antibody reactions. All these type of the intermolecular forces depend on the close proximity of the antigen and antibody molecules. For that reason, the good fit between antigenic determinant and antibody combining site determines the stability of the antigen antibody reaction. Multiple bondings between the antigen and antibody ensure that the antigen will be bound tightly to the antibodies. Affinity denotes the intensity of attraction between antigen and antibody. Low affinity antibodies bind antigen weakly and tend to dissociate readily, whereas high affinity antibodies binding antigen more tightly and remain bound longer. High affinity bindings is believed to result from a very close fit between the antigen binding sites and the corresponding antigenic determinant that facilitates the development of strong non-covalent interaction between antigen and antibody. Now avidity. Avidity is a measure of overall strength of binding of an antigen with many antigenic determinants and multivalent antibodies. Avidity is a better indicator of strength of interactions in real biological systems than affinity. And therefore, avidity of an antigen antibody reaction is dependent on valencies of both antigen and antibodies and is greater than the sum total of individual affinities. Specificity the term specificity refers to the ability of an individual antibody combining site to react with only one antigenic determinant or the ability of a population of antibody molecule to react with only one antigen. Antigen antibody reactions usually show a high degree of specificity. Despite this, cross reactions between antigen and antibodies, however, do occur and are sometimes responsible for causing diseases in host and for causing false result in diagnostic test. Cross reactivity. Although antigen antibody reactions are highly specific, in some cases antibody elicited by one antigen can cross react with an unrelated antigen. Such cross reactivity occurs if two different antigens share an identical or very similar epitope. In the latter case, the antibody's affinity for the cross-reacting epitope is usually less than that of the original epitope. Anticella containing polyclonal antibodies can often be found to react with immunogens partially related to those used for immunization due to the existence of common epitopes or of epitopes with similar configurations. Now, stages of the antigen antibody reactions. The antigen antibody reactions occur in two different stages. First, primary and second, secondary. Primary stage. Primary stage is an initial interaction between antigen and antibody. It is rapid and reversible, but without any visible effects. The ionic bonds, hydrogen bonds, van der Waal forces and hydrophobic interactions are the weaker intermolecular forces that bind antigen and antibodies together in the primary stage. Covalent binding, which is the stronger intermolecular force between antigen and antibody, however, does not occur in this stage. Second, secondary stage. Secondary stage is an irreversible interaction between antigen and antibody with visible effects such as agglutination, precipitation, neutralization, 
complement fixation and immobilization of motile organisms. The binding between antigen and antibody during this stage occur by covalent binding. A single antibody is capable of causing different type of the antigen antibody reactions and a single antigen is capable of inducing production of different classes of the immunoglobulins which differ in their biological properties. The result of agglutination, precipitation, neutralization and other tests are usually expressed as a titer. Then what is mean by the titer? Titer is defined as the highest dilution of serum that gives positive reaction in the test. Higher titer means the greater level of the antibodies in the serum. For example, a serum with a titer of 1 by 128 contains more antibodies than a serum with a titer of 1 by 8. Examples of antigen antibody reactions. Serological tests are widely used for detection of either serum antibodies or antigens for diagnosis of a wide variety of the infectious diseases and these serological tests are also used for diagnosis of the autoimmune diseases and in the typing of blood and tissues before transplantation. The following are examples of antigen antibody reactions. Precipitation, agglutination, complement dependent serological test, neutralization, opsonization, immunofluorescence, enzyme immunoassay, radioimmunoassay, western blotting, chemimulescence assay, immunoelectron microscopic test, etc. These are the references and the suggested reading. Thank you.